Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about celebrating holidays and making those holidays turn into wonderful traditions. Um, <clears throat> what is your favorite holiday? What kinds of things do you do at that holiday? Is there a special food that you have that's connected to that hol holiday? Is there a special activity that's connected to that holiday? Is there a special book that's connected to that holiday? And as you know, those holidays become traditions because we enact them year after year and uh, they become an important family tradition. Now, let me ask you this, and this is something that you can try with your kids. I want you to ask them this question. Ask them, what did you get last year for Christmas? And you will probably, they'll look at you very quizzically and they won't be able to answer it. Most kids can't. But then I want you to ask them, what traditions do you remember that we celebrated last year for Christmas? And they will probably be able to expound all different kinds of traditional celebrations that you did around the Christmas holidays. And you can probably do that for just about every holiday that you celebrate in your home. We don't remember the things that we got. Those are material possessions. They come and go. But we do remember those things that we enact year after year, things that become family traditions, those traditions that become legacies, and they're passed down from generation to generation, and they become very powerful. Now, in my protected resource section, you can go down and you can actually, on the lists and labels and more, there is a list. It's a 12-month uh, fun family tradition list. Please go in there and, and download that. I think it's between 12 and 15 pages. And it talks about all the national holidays and different ideas and things that you can do during those holidays. Now, it also talks about that there are pretty much two months out of the year in June and in August where there's not really any big, important national holiday. So what we did in our family, like in August, before the kids went back to school, we had a back-to-school celebration. You can try that, or you can have like a picnic celebration. Maybe make picnics a part of your family traditions and do fun and interesting types of picnics. Another thing is during the month of June, you can celebrate unbirthdays. If no one in the month of, of June, actually in our family, it's astounding with all of our, our sons, our daughter-in-laws, and our grandchildren, still no, there are no birthdays in our family during the month of June. So you can celebrate unbirthday month like they did in Alice in Wonderland and um, have another big birthday bash celebration for everybody in the entire family. Now, one thing that I do ask that you do on this list, and it's right in there, it says go to the very last page because I think that it would be really fun to find out what other people do in their families for different uh, celebrations that they have that have become traditions in their home, things that are important to them. So I'm asking these questions to you. What is the tradition? When do you celebrate it? Why do you celebrate this tradition? Does it have some kind of a background? Is there a meaning to it? Is it a legacy? Is it, does, it, does this particular celebration come from like a great-grandparent or a great-great-grandparent or somebody that you have carried on this tradition in your home? Do you have any special foods that are associated with this tradition? Do you have any special books that you read that are associated with this tradition? What makes this tradition so special for your family? And if you want to include a picture of your family or yourself or whatever, please do that. I want to gather these all together and then I'm going to make a whole nother thing that I'll put in the protected resource library and you can download and you can find out what people hopefully all over the world do to celebrate different, um, different, different uh, holidays and celebrations and traditions in their home to make something, to make these uh, times together come alive for their family. Um, let me leave this quote with you. It's by Lydia Bastinich. Traditions are our roots and a profile of who we are as individuals and who we are as a family. They are our roots, which give us stability and a sense of belonging. They ground us. I really think this is true is back again, you know, asking your kids, what did we celebrate last year for Christmas? And having a flood of ideas come into your home and things that they remember that make that holiday special. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.